Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated um, budget binder video. I did post one in, I think it was June or July of last year about um, my cash binders that I have. And at that time, I think I only had four and now I have seven. So I'm just gonna go through all of my binders and I've been inspired to do this because a lot of people have been showing their new binders for the new year and updating their categories and I've had a lot of things change since that video. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm also really excited about this because I got a new um, desk mount for my phone because the one that I had before was $4 from the dollar store and it was just one of those like flexible gooseneck ones. Um, but it was like extremely wobbly and this one is made out of metal. It's super stable and I am so happy with it because now whenever like I move, and if I like hit it accidentally, it's not gonna like completely wobble or like fall or anything like that. So um, the first binder that I have is my A7 uh, cash binder here that I got off of Amazon. And this sticker is from Angel's Tail Art. And I've had this binder for a couple of months and I absolutely love it. I also have a keychain. I have a keychain in all of my binders except for this one. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I have um, these cash envelopes from Kay's Wallet. So I have my own personal envelope, food, fun, home, miscellaneous. I also have a coins uh, zipper pouch and a zipper pouch for my receipts. And these little um, backgrounds that I have in each envelope are from someone on Twitter. I can't remember the name right now, but I will, I always have that link posted in my description box, as well as all of my envelopes and this, um, the artists as well. My next binder is going to be my Bills binder. So, um, this binder is an OG binder. I've, this is like the first binder that I bought um, when I first started cash stuffing. Uh, so I love these like sequin shaker binders. And um, these stickers I got from Alex Budgets who also made um, my dashboards for my bills high priority and low priority sinking funds, and another keychain as well. So for my bills, I have a uh, bank envelope, so that's money to go back to the bank for rent, obviously. Bills, this includes subscriptions, internet, insurance for my cat and myself, as well as a uh, crunchy roll that I pay for, student loan that I pay for every single month, uh, TTC, which is my bus pass, uh, therapy for my bi-weekly therapy sessions, cats, this is for like their food or anything else that they may need, laundry, I do coin laundry in my building, and I have a buffer envelope as well, which is for my bank account buffer. I also have receipts, and that does it for my bills binder. Now, I know not everyone stuffs um, their bills. Most people uh, either keep it in their account or do prop money or anything like that. This is the only thing that has worked with me to make sure that I have money for my bills and pay my bills on time. Um, as someone with ADHD, for like 90% of ADHDers, having everything automated works best. 
However, that doesn't work for me because then I completely forget about it and then I forget to like have the money for it. So having it like this is the best way um, that's worked for me. Um, and next is my high priority uh, sinking funds. I think this is like all my binders are my favorite, but I think this one has got to be like probably my number one. Um, I have my name on the side here, which is a freebie that I got from Kay's wallet. I have a Gojo keychain that I got last year, I think at Anime North. Uh, from Jujutsu Kaisen, and the dashboard is from Alex Budgets on Instagram. Now, for me, I don't really update like um, the labels because personally, like I'm really happy with them. Um, I don't think I'm going to change them anytime soon. Um, and these labels uh, for my bills, high priority, and I believe my low priority binder, and I think my sad budgets binder, they're from Ghost Parfait on um, Etsy. So, um, I, which I also have those linked down below. So I have my emergency fund. I have emergency and then I have three to six months expenses. So emergency is for like a huge like expense that I was not expecting, not prepared for, whatever. That's what emergency fund is for. Then I have line of credit, which is a new envelope since my last um, video that I did of my binders sometime last year, June or July. So this is my student line of credit and I had to get this because that is how I'm able to pay for school. Um, and for those of you who are new, I am currently in a uh, postgraduate program to become a licensed um, psychotherapist and an expressive arts therapist. So the focus of the program is um, with the arts modalities and how to use them um, in a therapeutic setting. So that's for that. Then I have my credit card, three to six months expenses. So this is for if anything happens with my job or if I have to take time off or anything like that, this is for that, which is separate from my emergency fund. I have my self-care envelope, my Anime North envelope, uh, which I am $100 away now from $1,000 and I am so proud of myself that I have been able to save this money since I think May of last year. I don't remember when I started saving, I have to check, but that's for Anime North. I have a medical envelope because despite living in Canada, not everything in healthcare is covered, um, especially for young people like myself. If you are 26, you basically get nothing covered anymore. Um, so I do have a medical uh, envelope for that. I have a taxes envelope. This is to pay for someone to do my taxes because I despise doing it every single year. This is my vet expenses binder. So this is straight, uh, strictly for like vet visits or anything like that for my cats. And I have a savings envelope, which is for my savings account in my, that I have with my bank. And that is it for my high priority sinking funds binder. Next is my low priority sinking fund binder. And I love this one because it's pink. And um, 
this Kirby sticker was a birthday gift from a friend. So I actually don't know the artist um, for this sticker. And then I have this cute cat donut keychain. Um, and the artist is Angel Tales um, or Angel's Tale art for that. And again, the super cute dashboard is by Alex Budgets. So for my low priority sinking funds, I have hobbies. I changed out this envelope and then um, this is what I need to have in my hobbies envelope. So I need $90 by the end of February for the new Kirby game that's coming out. And then I need $70 by April um, for the 30th anniversary figure that I pre-ordered last summer. Um, and then hobbies is for anything like uh, dolls, cosplay, uh, mechanical keyboards, video games, art supplies, stuff like that. I have my wedding envelope and this is in low priority because um, my wedding isn't gonna happen for another couple of years but um, I really do want to start planning for that now as soon as possible. Um, then I have annual fees. So this is for any yearly bills like I have, like my artist website, yearly subscriptions, stuff like that. My next one is new phone, which I already have. This is the remaining balance um, on my phone currently. I think I have to check what it is now, but that is for my iPhone 13. Um, and I've been paying 40 bucks a month and then I did like a lump sum payment for it. So um, I think it's gonna be paid off fairly quickly, but um, I just still have this envelope in there to keep track of it. Then I have a shopping envelope. Um, I think I actually wanna change this to retail therapy because I saw someone do that and I was like, yeah, it, it is retail therapy. <laughs> um, so shopping is for like online shopping, physical, like in-person stores. Then I have Christmas and this has my high priority label, but I put it in low priority because like it is um, my friends and family know that I'm low income right now, so it is really difficult for me to save for Christmas when I have like Anime North, that is like my like huge event that I go to every year. But I would like to save for Christmas as much as possible. And then I have tattoos and that one's self-explanatory for any tattoos that I may want in the future. So that is my low priority binder. And next is my sinking funds binder, or sorry, uh, savings challenge binder. Um, and I have this cute Boba Cat keychain and these envelopes are by Kay's wallet. So I have the dime savings challenge, but instead of dime, I am doing $5 bills because I hate dealing with change. And the highest number for this, I believe is 35. Um, so I got this from KTW planning and budgeting. Then I have 100 envelope challenge. The one that I'm doing is for low income, um, I guess households like myself. So the highest number is $250 um, here. I also made myself a, um, a low income 100 envelope savings challenge, which is on my Etsy. Um, I got this one before I made the one that that I did for my shop. Um, I can't remember who I got it from, but I will put that on the screen. Then I have the 35 envelope challenge, which um, you save per like envelope. So I made this one myself, which is in my Etsy shop. 
So this one is for the Canadians or like anyone who doesn't want to like save the change. So in this one, you would save $700. But basically you save, it's the same with the 100 envelope one, you save one through 100 or one through 35. Um, and some people do like individual like uh, envelopes for it. I like to keep it in an envelope because I don't like folding um, the money because Canadian money is plastic. Um, and then I have the 15 envelope challenge and I made this label myself as well as the tracker. So it's exactly like the 35 and 100 envelope challenge. Um, this is also on my shop and this one you save 150 and the ones that I made that are in my shop, you get one for 120, which is one through 15 or this one, which is 150 for those who don't want to save the change. And I like this one a lot because it's super easy and quick to complete. And then you have $150. This one, I would like to do more. This is the Saveopoly um, challenge. And I don't know how much you save after this, but um, I am going to put on the screen who it's from because I don't remember, but um, I just put that in an envelope with my name on it. Then I have the $50 mini challenge, which I also made myself. And I made this cute um, noodle cup design uh, in two different, colorways so this is a sakura one and then there's a spicy noodle one so each one of these icons is five dollars and then when you are done you have fifty dollars another really easy quick and easy uh savings challenge good for low income and then i have this one by the savvy coin which is two hundred dollars for groceries savings challenge Right now, I only have $10. And those are all my savings challenges that I have right now. Obviously, the dime one is going to take a really long time to complete, but then I'm gonna have so much money after that. So um, that is it for my savings challenge binder. Next is my Sav Budgets um, Business Binder. Um, I believe all of these stickers, no, these are all different stickers. I think these are the same artist by Zero Bay. And then this one is Angel's Tail Art. And then I have an Anya keychain that I got at Anime North last year. And uh, I have an emergency envelope. So this is for any like business emergencies or if I'm short in an envelope or anything like that. I have a SAB budgets um, envelope. I have a YouTube envelope, which I would use for giveaways or YouTube taxes. And then I have taxes, which is for Etsy taxes of SAB budgets. I have products, so this is for digital or physical. I would like to have physical products on the shop this year, but um, this is for like the SVG files that I buy to make my designs, my digital designs um, on Etsy. I have business expenses, so this could be like, um, for example, this, this desk mount that I got because I use it for filming purposes, um, or it could be like business registration or just anything that's business related um, would be that. Then I have subscriptions and this is for any business subscriptions like Canva. Um, I'm not able to solely pay Canva on my own through SAB budgets just yet, but I do um, have this envelope for when we get there. 
I have an Etsy fees envelope just in case. Um, so this is to pay for like any listings, renewals, stuff like that. I have marketing, so for anything um, that is promotional based, I might um, I might start making business cards for when I have um, physical items in the shop, or if I do like freebie stickers or anything like that, um, or for ads, that's what would be marketing. And then I have shipping for when I do physical um, products. And then I have a blank envelope in the back for receipts. So that is for SAV budgets. And then I have my artist business binder, which I am still obsessed with. Um, these stickers, uh, that are on my binder, at least the one in the front, is on my artist Etsy shop that I made um, of an oil painting. Um, and then I have stickers on the back, one that says art therapy saves lives, and then I have this 1% talent one, which is um, an artist 1% talent. And for this binder, there's a lot in here. So I have like my business cards and whatnot. I have some owing amounts. And like my SAV budgets one. Oh yeah, I also have this sticker here too, um, worth millions, which is super cute. Like my SAV budgets one, I also have an emergency fund uh, for taxes, which would be like, um, for Etsy or if I sell like um, artwork or anything like that, like at a gallery or something. Um, although I'm not much into gallery shows, I'm more into um, art markets. Um, business expenses, so anything that I need, like business cards, uh, business license, same as that budget, stuff like that. Um, supplies. Um, this says promotional slash shipping materials, um, which I guess is correct, yeah. So any like office supplies, paper, stuff like that, shipping supplies, um, prints for any art prints that I make, for um, stickers, new sticker designs, art markets for any in-person market fees, application fees, any supplies that I would need. Etsy fees for my artist Etsy shop. Marketing, which would be for Etsy ads, promotional materials, anything like that. And then shipping for shipping costs because I do sell physical products as well as receipts um, to keep track of business expenses. And those are all seven binders that um, I am using for 2023. Um, I may get a wedding binder this year. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like if I get any more binders, it's kind of gonna be too much. <laughs> But I don't know what the year has in store for me, so I'm super excited um, to see how Sav Budget grows on YouTube, on Etsy, um, and I have some like a lot of exciting things happening this year, and I can't wait to share them with you. So I hope you found this video helpful and you got some ideas for your categories or inspiration for your envelope designs. Um, new binders and stuff like that. If you have any questions about my categories or my binders, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, thanks so much um, for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.